This is the A2560K. This new retro computer has some very interesting hardware, but you can't do anything with it. And with shipping, it will cost you $1000 or more. Let's have a look at the hardware. It has a Motorola 68040B processor running at 25MHz, 4MB static RAM, 4MB flash and 64MB of SD RAM. The sound capabilities are amazing. It has room for two SID chips, the SID chip that can be found in the Commodore 64. It has the OPM sound chip from Yamaha in FPGA. It was used in many different machines, for example the Sharp X1. It has the OPM2, used in the Sega Mega Drive, also as an FPGA implementation. It has the PSG sound chip, the one that was used in the Tandy 1000. And finally, the OPL3 chip for some lovely Sound Blaster 16 music. Imagine the awesome retro music you can make with this computer. And there's more, it has built-in speakers with a 15W amplifier, inputs for recording, and it supports 8-bit and 16-bit 48kHz sample rate. So to the graphics, I don't understand everything here, and some of it seems to still be in development. But it has a high resolution, 8-bit to 24-bit, 64 sprites, and yeah, some stuff I don't understand. It has an Ethernet card, SD card, 2.5 inch hard drive, a floppy drive and two Atari style joystick ports. But there is no software for this computer, so at least I can't do anything. It has a simple kernel to run your code, so if you are a programmer, perhaps this is your dream computer. It seems like you can make some really cool retro style music and games. Anyway, check out the links in the video description to learn more.